Hey, my name is Sophie. And I'm Richard. We left our life in New Zealand about 18 months ago to live in a van. We enjoy traveling, skiing, rock climbing, discovering new places, enjoying marvelous landscapes and meeting new people. We made vans for ourselves in both New Zealand and Canada and uh, after a little video on YouTube we started getting requests from all sorts of places to come and build vans for people and that's how we ended up here today with Jan and showing you this new van we've created. So let's discover Jan's van, Stanley. Obviously every camper van needs a bed and we wanted to make sure Jan had a full size bed despite the fact that it's clearly a tiny camper. Um, it's really quick and easy to set up. Just slide out these two drawers, slide out this uh, top, it sits down on top of the two drawers, the backrest becomes part of the bed. And there's another cushion behind the seats. And it's all done. One of the things that surprised Jan lots was to have a kitchen in the van. When she contacted us, she didn't really think that was something that was possible in such a small place. But we managed to make it work by putting it under the bed and under the couch. So it's latched so it doesn't slide out when we drive, but once it's unlatched, it comes out the whole way out. We've got the sink here with some water. There's an electric pump which brings water for dishes and brushing teeth, which is really nice. The fresh water tank is located under the bed, so you just have to slide the kitchen slightly more, and then by pushing, you just open the tank which is about three gallon. This is a wide opening because we wanted to make sure she could refill using the normal dump station for RVs. She can obviously refill from just a normal tap at home. Um, then we've got lots of storage in here in this cubby hole, which is really good for all the pantry and all the food or you can also store just your normal pots and pans. Um, to know how much fresh water she has, there's an indicator here and you get to see directly the level of the water, which is quite handy so you don't run out of water, surprisingly. We also have a stove, which is a marine stove. It's alcohol based, um, that way we don't have all the big setup that's taking quite, like a lot of space for propane. Um, and just to make sure she's safe if she ends up using it inside, then we've got the seal detector right there. She can also take the stove and use it anywhere else. Uh, we made that choice because if you use the kitchen and you just pull it slightly out, you can also use it as a bedside table for the bed when you don't have the stove. For the grey water, there's a tank right under. And then to empty it, you just unroll the pipe from inside behind the stove storage and you can empty that in any drain or any RV dump station. It's very simple and, and, and nice. One thing that we also have as part of the kitchen, which Jen uses a lot, is a fridge. So this fridge is quite spacious, there's lots of space for one person and what's really special about the fridge is that it's a drawer, obviously, and the compressor isn't directly behind it, which means we could use it here. That's the kitchen. So one of the most important features in the van was this cabinet, which is kind of a, a workstation for Jan. Uh, she wanted to use the van a lot as an escape, a place that she could come and be creative, read, write, and work. Um, so we've made this for her. It's got lots of little knickknacks lots of little spaces for all her knickknacks. Uh, some of them open, some of them closed. Um, these are really easy to uh, open and shut. And then uh, the most important thing is this desk. You can either fold down in half, which works fantastic when the bed is open, or you just want a little extra uh, storage space. Or 
it can open right up to be a huge desk. Um, Another thing to note is the shape of the van. It's really curved. As you can see, there's lots of obstacles and metal in there. And to just shape the wood to that shape of metal was quite challenging. And it's certainly not one of those already made cabinet that you can just add here. It takes a lot of work and definitely some craft um, to fit in there, especially if you want to keep it really slim, which is what we were trying to achieve to keep as much space in the van as we could. Jan wanted to be able to use the van as an office, so for that she needs a laptop. Um, obviously at night she wants to have some lights and um, she has a fridge. So all of this power comes from the solar panel that are on the roof. It's 100 watts and they're very thin so that she doesn't um, get them too much seen and also it's better for fuel consumption. So to have to make sure that she never runs out of power. We've got here a 125 amp hour battery, um, and, which is an AGM battery. And we also have um, in here the fuse box. We've got, this is the fridge compressor, and um, we've got the solar panel controller. Then in the van, we have LEDs for the light and uh, we have just USB plugs for the computer and um, obviously uh, we've got the fridge that consumes power. So all of that makes it nice and easy for Jan. So she's got her van all powered. Jan really enjoys the nature and being able to see outside from a little bubble was really important. So we installed two skylights for her so she could enjoy the view during the day, have the lights, and also during the night, see the stars. So those skylights are actually marine hatch, so they don't leak because the designs for waves, big storms, and human walking on them. They are expensive, but as we mentioned earlier, we want to spend the money where it really matters. No one wants to have a leaking skylight. It's, it's okay to have a Tupperware as grey water, it's not okay to have a leak in your roof. So these skylights come with a locking option. So when they're locked, no one can enter the van, even from the roof. When you unlock them, you have the option to put them as ventilation. Again, they lock, so you can leave them like that, go for your day walk, and when you come back, the van is nice and cool because the wind can kind of circulate, especially because we have two skylights. So once you want to enjoy really the view and go out, you can open them fully and just Pop your head out and enjoy the scenery. All right, let's go camping now. I wanted people who could design it, but weren't married to their own design or their own ideas, who were listening to my ideas. And I wanted an immaculate craftsman. Uh, and that's what Sophie and Richard are. It feels cozy, but it feels spacious with these huge windows. Been impressed with every aspect of the function. And uh, when the desk is double folded here, it is as large as the working space in my desk at home. And what I've gotten is quiet and independence and nature wherever I want to go. This project has been unbelievable a great experience every step of the way. It was, this is what we want to build for you. Something that's functional, useful, and beautiful. And they delivered on that promise every step of the way. The price didn't change from the beginning to the end. It's a wonderful vehicle. I'm going to love it for many years.